talking about this uh, knowing on the inside, knowing God speaking to you or knowing the Holy Spirit affirming things in your heart. It's what the Bible calls an inward witness. You'll see it in Romans 8, 16, and it's the primary way that God will speak to you and God will lead you. And in a day when people are very enthusiastic and excited about the supernatural, which is awesome, and, uh, and the prophetic and God prophesying through people over them, you've got to keep a balance and remember that none of those things were sent really to guide you. They were sent to affirm something that's already in your heart. And if it isn't in your heart, then you want to leave the prophecy alone, put it on the back burner uh, until you know on the inside. So many of God's people that sincerely want to serve God well have launched out. I remember a chap I spoke to back in Australia. He was a friend of mine. He was running a business. He was doing okay in that business. And he'd got born again in kind of middle age. Uh, and then um, somebody had prophesied over him that he was going to be in the ministry. Um, now, I didn't think that was particularly likely at the time. And if I look back now, uh, that, that certainly wasn't the case. But uh, I remember he gave it away in a way when he spoke to me. And he, he said, well, you know, I don't, I don't feel anything. I don't know, but apparently God's called me to the ministry. Uh, that's an example of how people get confused when they put too much emphasis on what somebody else has said. And often that's simply because you haven't become familiar enough with that inward witness. That's mostly how God will guide you. And today I want you to make time to be with God and let his sense of yes, what they sometimes call a green light or an okay or a peace in your spirit, guide you. It's mostly by impression, not by vision, and not by word, those, those things come as well. God bless you. See you soon.